Bo Tibbs, his character, and family. By Oliver Goldsmith Oliver Goldsmith Oliver Goldsmith, an Anglo-Irish novelist, playwright, dramatist, and poet was born on November 10, 1728 in Ballymahone or Elfin, Ireland. Studied at Elfin Diocesan School. Attended Trinity College, Dublin, and in 1749 he was graduated as a Bachelor of Arts without the discipline or distinction. He produced a massive output as a hack writer on Grub Street. Used the pseudonym James Willington to publish his translation of the autobiography of the Huguenot Jean Martighi in 1758. In 1760 he began to publish a series of letters in the public ledger under the title The Citizen of the World. He is best known for his novel The Vicar of Wakefield. Died on April 4, 1774 in London. Bo Tibbs, his character, and family. Published as the 54th letter in The Citizen of the World or Letters from a Chinese Philosopher in 1760. Expresses the encounter of Tibbs during a walk in the city along with his friend. Indicates the character of Bo Tibbs. Criticizes the mentality of human to present themselves royal. Summary The writer starts the essay by stating that though he is pensive he takes every opportunity to find a gay company. With this intention he used to move among the crowd and will involve in the pleasure he seeks. As the evening is calm and pleasant he and his friend, Drabone went for a public walk in the city. They were praising the beauty of the handsome fellows moving over there. Suddenly his friend caught his elbow and pulled him away in order to avoid somebody who followed them but they were not able to escape from the person they tried to avoid and thus they met him. The stranger joined them with familiarity of old acquaintance. He was familiar to the narrator's friend and he greeted him by shaking hands and asked where he was for a long time. The stranger who can be later realized as Bo Tibbs told his friend Drabone that he might have got married and settled in an estate in the country. During their conversation the narrator was surveying the appearance of him and has given a description of the same. His looks were pale, thin and sharp. His hat was pinched up with peculiar smartness. He wore a broad black ribbon in his neck and a belt with a buckle studded with glass. He wore a coat which was trimmed with tarnished swift and his stockings is of silk and newly washed. His friend complimented the dressing style. The narrator indicates the character of Tibbs through the reply he has given to Drabone for his compliment. He replied that he hates flattery. He then told about Lord Mudler whom he considers as one of the most good-natured men. He states that during the previous night while he was there to dine at the Duchess of Piccadilly's, the Lord was there. He has questioned Tibbs that where he has been last night cooking something for himself. He relied that he was at home and he used to take good woman with him for himself. Drabone commented that Tibbs is a lucky person to have such kind of company. He told his lord has taken him in his own chariot to dine in town. As Drabone asked that he has told he dined in country, he soon told that he has dined twice one in country and in town. He stated that he dined at Lady Grogram's. Before leaving he told that he will hold thousand guineas and will pay the amount to him once he meet him again. Drabone told that Tibbs is an extraordinary man who is presenting himself with good appearance. He has fierce on coffee house acquaintance and he needs to pose himself as rich even though he is poor. He is skilled to make other to be impressed by his conversation. He may earn a precarious subsistence but later he may find himself forsaken by all. He concludes the letter by saying that the fake identity and the presentation of him will make him realize himself. For more videos. Like. Share. Subscribe. Thank you.